Let's go! Okay, come around, see me put it down just a little bit. Ball on them, heavy, y'all already know exactly what to do. Somebody better get the crown when the nigga spit. Hurry, make sure you polish it a little before you bring it to me while I like it down with another hit. You're ready. This is Brutal Lynx, and welcome to V Bad. No, yeah, well, video blog a day is basically what it stands for. Um, what I plan on doing for tonight, I guess, is just improvising. I'm gonna probably improvise most of these videos. Uh, mostly because they are every single fucking day. And I don't know that I can actually do the research to have... I have a full-time job, bitches. I don't... I can't. So, uh, what do I want to talk about today? Today was Telephone Upgrade Day. Yay! 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 I got to get a new phone today. Now, previously, I've been using this. It's an Android uh, LG Optimus. When I first got it a couple of years ago, this was an awesome fucking phone. Very awesome. And then it just got slower and slower and slower. And then it started doing this really fucked up thing where it would reboot for no reason. And then that just steadily got worse. And it would reboot in the middle of a call. So in the middle of a call you hear do 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 Hello? 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 Did this bitch just click on me? Oh hell no. This bitch about to get cussed out. Is my phone rebooting? Hey. Yeah. No, nah, phone rebooted. Oh. Damn. I'm sorry. Wait, like, really? You gotta be fucking kidding me. You're going to reboot in the middle of a phone call. You suck. Um, so I've been struggling with it, and I've been wanting to get rid of it. And today is the day. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at the poor, poor, poor functionality. So I got rid of that today. And picked up one of these. Oh, yes. A nice, shiny iPhone, but it is not an iPhone 5. And I'll tell you why. Um, I'm a bit of a tech geek, as a lot of bears are, it seems, and I've worked for Apple. I've sworn off the iPhone because I fixed them all the time. It was horrible. But I no longer work for Apple. Instead, I work for Hades International. At least that's what I'm going to be calling them. So, and given my experience with Apple, and just knowing what this is and knowing the hardware and everything else, there really is not that big of a difference between a 4S and a 5. Like, the 5 definitely has a bigger screen, it has a faster processor, but really, I text, I tweet, I Facebook, and I take video. What else am I doing that I'm going to need something that's crazy? I mean, the A5 can handle video editing on the damn iPhone, so I can edit my videos on the iPhone, too. So I don't have to worry about all that. And on top of all this, why pay a premium to get one iPhone 5 when I can get two iPhone 4Ss for the same price as my initial upgrade? So I decided to get the iPhone 4S. It was a fiscally more responsible choice, and in all reality, there's not much of a difference. I've played with the iPhone 5. It's not that different. It really isn't. That, and it's awkward in my hand. Like, I have huge mitts, but, you know, I'm trying to talk on it. It's kind of like I'm talking on the phone from 1984. It's just huge. So, you know, and the only thing this big that should be coming in my face, well, we ain't going there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I ended up going in today to a Sprint store. They wouldn't let me record inside. I wanted to record the process so that way I could just edit that in. And you could have, oh, my trip to Sprint, but that didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. Um, basically, they told me that I was a trick-ass motherfucker and to get the fuck out if I'm going to be trying to record shit. And I was like, yeah, no, I think I want my phone. It's a nice, it's only the 16 gigabyte one. They didn't have the 32. They won't be getting the 32s in because of the iPhone 5. Um, so I got this phone, and I got an upgrade on the line for Skeeter, so that way Skeeter could have one too. Skeeter's parents are here to visit for the week. 
Well, this isn't a bad thing. I actually like his parents. I like his mom. I like his dad. Um, so this ought to be cool. They're going to do some work on the house. So this means that in our dining room, we're having a built-in china cabinet with wine rack and a place for booze. That's going to be awesome. We're getting a light for the backyard placed upstairs. That's going to be awesome. And I think that's all they're doing this week. Um, last time they came, they stripped floors. They put electricity in the basement. They did all sorts of crazy shit that I was not prepared to do. They were like, oh, you want to come down here and help us in the basement? I'm like, no, bitch. Black people don't play with electricity. Shit. So I let them sit down there and play with it. And everything came out pretty good. So I have confidence that this will be nice. Oh, yeah, they also put a spigot out front and a power output outlet out front so that way I could wash my car <laughs> and, uh, and vacuum it out. So yeah, I love it when his dad comes because this means that yes, it's a week of, you know, I have to watch my mouth a little bit, but it is also a week of stuff getting done. So can't really be too mad about that. Mm. You know what I want to talk about? Because I have a lot of gripes. I do. I really do. I like to bitch. Everybody likes to bitch. Who doesn't fucking like to bitch? I have a gripe with the term gay rights. Somebody has said this to me earlier today. That was, and, and it wasn't negative, but it was just gay rights this, gay rights that, gay rights this, blah, blah, blah. I want to fuck who I want to fuck. I want to marry who I can marry, blah, blah, blah. And it got me thinking... Part of the problem is that you call them gay rights. I mean, the term gay rights, it kind of sounds like we want something special. It kind of sounds like we want something different than everybody else. And the truth of the matter is that we don't. What we want is exactly the same as everybody else. Like, stop calling it gay marriage. Stop calling it gay marriage. It's fucking marriage. Guy, girl, whatever. It's marriage. It's the same amount of misery that everybody else is subjected to. I want to have my chance at that kind of misery and have it be recognized federally. I don't want to have to be bound to one state just so that way my marriage is recognized. That's ridiculous. Imagine a world if you were the minority as a straight person. Like, if as a straight person, like, let's just say that the world was a whole lot of gay people, which it, in all reality it is, but uh, let's just say that they were all out. It's a world full of gay people. Straight people, like, marrying each other? What? Like, that's weird. Why would they want to do that? Now, you might say, but what about procreation? The human race would die out. Well, sweetie, I got a thing to tell you about procreation. Procreation is a biological need. It is something that we all would do if we had to do it. Now, some of you do it because you like to do it, and you guys just happen to be the either out straight minority or closeted gay majority, one or the other. It's, you know, when you put them both together and you guys are, well, the majority, and what do you have? So, yeah, I mean... Gay people would still procreate because we can. So it would probably be strictly for purposes of procreation, like what you straight people are supposed to be doing if you were to, or I should say you straight Christians, Catholics, anyone who falls under that umbrella of Catholicism where you're really only supposed to be having sex for procreation. Um, that would probably be the only way in which we did. And then we would have found a way to find ourselves exactly where we are now, where you can have artificial insemination. So it's actually totally plausible that if this world was all gay and that straight people were the minority, and then we denied you the right to tell that woman next to you that you love her and that you're going to marry her, to take away your right to actually fulfill that promise to marry her, or take away that right to have that family. Imagine for one moment, if your life as you knew it, was considered less than. Because that's exactly what our lives are considered. You cannot have a minority's rights voted on by the majority because the rights will never come. The rights actually have to be given, and that's it. End of story. Hey, they have rights. Done. Why is this such a difficult concept for people to believe? Imagine if you were trying to live your life and someone told you that you can't. 
Imagine if you had to make a video explaining to someone why you should be allowed to love who you love and to marry who you wish to marry. Imagine if your loved one was in the hospital and you were denied the right to see them because, well, you're not family. You guys aren't married. Yeah. Kind of sucks, doesn't it? Imagine if, and this one actually happened to me, you wake up one morning and the car that you spend so much money on, that you work so hard to keep payments on, that you absolutely adore. This one's mostly for you straight boys out there. Imagine you come out of your house in the morning and that car was defaced because someone did not like who or what you were. I'm a scratch white boy in this car. Oh, really? I'm, I'm a scratch nigger in this car. I'm gonna scratch heterosexist snob in this car. Kinda fucked up, huh? But now imagine a world in which no one gives a fuck what you do, who you sleep with, how you sleep with them, what toys you use to do it, whether or not you're clean inside and out, whether or not you... Imagine a world where everybody minded their own goddamn business. We'd actually be upping the median income for the country because, wow, two men make more money than a man and a woman. Because women still get paid less. Yeah, that's right, you heterosexual women. Y'all still get paid less. You guys are still treated like second-class citizens, too, so I might get on that if I were you. Better yet, imagine a world in which you're allowed to be happy. Everyone around you is allowed to be happy. And not just happy, but just as happy as you are. That'd be nice. So let's stop fighting for gay rights and start fighting for rights, equal rights, for everyone. Welcome to day one of Video Blog A Day. There's no bear shirt for you guys today, I'm sorry. But uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like the video below. Um, don't forget to check out my website. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Don't forget me.